Hi, welcome to this tutorial series on Spring IOC annotation based approach. In this video, I'm going to discuss about record annotation. So, my last video was about the qualifier annotations and auto bar annotations, and I already covered different types of annotations of Spring IOC. So, if you have not seen my last couple of videos, so you can subscribe my channel, just hit on the subscribe button on the bottom of this video. And so you will get a new update, uh, automatic update while I'll upload a new videos. So let's get started. So the record annotation we generally use uh, when we want a particular field of a class to make to make it as a mandatory such that the object of that particular field should be created while that the class while the class loads or Spring application loads. So if we take the example here, so we have this project class and inside this project class I have a member variable uh, which is comment uh, object. So let's say uh, we want this comment object to be mandatory such that the, the application loads the object of this comment um, will be created. And so it should not be null. So in that scenario, so we should go for the record annotation. And so, uh, so let's create a record annotation here, and we can test it. So record annotation we generally use with the setter methods. So let's give a record annotation here. So now, now this object uh, will be mandatory. So uh, let's test it out. In spring.xml file, uh, we can create a bean of project class. So let's give the bean tag with id we can give as project, and we need to provide the class. Class should be com dot ioc dot model dot project. So I have created one bean of project class. So I'm creating the object of this class using bean tag. So if we run this, if we test this uh, application, then we will definitely get an exception. So let's test it out, and then we can check it. So so we need to create the object first. So we can use get bean method for that to create the object. So in get bean we have to pass the ID. The ID of bean is project. And let's typecast it. Should be project. Okay, so let's test it out. So there is an exception. So exception says the property comment is required for bean project. So it means that this bean is now mandatory. So we have to create the object of the this bean also while we are actually creating creating the object of project class. So let's create a property tag here. So in property we need to provide the comment bean. So need to provide the name. So let's give it as a comment and we need to give the reference. Okay. So the reference is actually a bean so we need to create a bean so comment also so it should be comment this should be comment and let's remove the property tag so now I am actually injecting the property of project class also it means I am creating the object of comment property using the property tag so this is a setter injection actually happening here so 
here if we say our project class we have this property with comment a name as a comment so i'm creating the object of this comment property using property tag and it is referring to this pin so now it will work let's test it out yeah so now it is working we are not getting any exceptions it means uh, now we have provided the object of comment instance variable so that's why it is the required annotations is successfully working uh, so that's uh, that's about the record annotation we can use record annotation when we have some uh, properties which we want to make uh, mandatory so those properties should not be null while the object of the class is created and the spring application loads so that's all about the record annotation thanks for watching so in my next video i'm going to cover other different annotation of spring ioc